Patty guys and dolls out there in YouTube land, your favorite little keto goofball diamond. And today is day 816 of my ketogenic journey, going from a former 311.8 pound ball all the way down to a happy, healthy keto cutie. Where that number falls, I'm still not really sure yet. Anyway, I'm going to show you what I ate yesterday. It was perfectly keto friendly, and I'll be right back with a chit chat and a weigh in. Don't forget, guys and dolls, if you love me, thumbs up. If you're new here, subscribe, ring that bell. I tell you everything I know about keto every day. Plus, I help everybody do keto for free, completely free. Seriously, my email address is in the description below. All you got to do is email me any questions you have, and I'll help you get your macros and everything. Also, there is a playlist on the front of this channel, How To For Beginners, and I have a website with a beginner's guide and a foods list, everything written out plain and simple, and all of it's for free. Check it all out. Like, subscribe, share, ring that bell. Let's roll, y'all. Good morning guys and dolls just washed my hair washing and drying clothes finished some laundry and now I'm having a cup of coffee uh, it's that French vanilla that I showed you that I just got this one's actually all right I think I could drink this and I need to get me a coffee cup for my son strokes out that I'm using his PlayStation cup hey guys so this is my personal favorite keto fast food meal I've got a salad that I've taken the tomatoes out of and a Dave's triple plain with just uh, cheese so I'm gonna add some mayonnaise and uh, it's a pretty good keto meal so I'm having some of that fruity uh, Magic Spoon cereal in the unsweetened vanilla almond milk with a little bit of that Lakanto um, extract in it. As me and Hubs came to Miller's, we're having a side salad and a ribeye steak. Alrighty guys, so here is our 8 ounce ribeye. Hubby got one too, we got some water here. He's going to have some A1, a little bit. And um, yeah, that's about all the salad I can take. It's mostly just lettuce now. Yeah, so me and Hubby um, ended up bringing our steak home and finishing it later. And we had some high-key cookies, one serving each. Hey guys, so here's my calories and macros. 2,134 calories, 33 grams of carbohydrates, 169 grams of fat, and 128 grams of protein. I'm not mad at it at all. Vinny, what do you think? Can you say thank you, Miss Tia, and thank you, Miss Lisa? No, you can't, but we can say it. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Tia. He looks amazing. And that is a great walker for boy or girl. And he likes it a lot. Yeah. Anthony, stop smiling at Daddy. Look at Grandma. Hi. You. Hello. Hello. No, don't do that. He's busy. He's too busy. Hi. What are you doing? Where are you going? Anthony. He's leaving. So I wanted to say a special thank you to Linda um, for a very sweet and wonderful anniversary gift. I really appreciate it, honey. It means a lot. Who noticed the F up in my video yesterday? Did you notice it? Did you? So yesterday, when the video started, I normally have a beginning clip where I tell you um, what day it is, um, and of course, did I help anybody and that kind of thing. I accidentally deleted that clip and put instead a clip that I meant to delete with... <laughs> so that whole video almost was an F up, but I had done deleted everything. I couldn't take it down and start over, so anyway. Did you notice? I'm just curious. Much love to you. Bye, y'all. Happy October 24th, you guys. Uh, happy anniversary to me and hubby. 22 years married. Hi, hubby. Happy anniversary. Yay. <laughs> so, anyway, we're, we've got kind of a special day planned. It will be off keto plan. I already know this for a fact. However, roll that window up. However, it's only because I 100% know me, and I know 100% that tomorrow will be keto. It will be. There will be some struggles. There will be some, I don't feel so great. There will be some weight gain. But you know what? I know me. My lifestyle is now keto. But every single day of my life, I don't want to think about my diet. Um, so on a special occasion or two here and there, I'm going to jump off track. Uh, and I don't mind it because, again... 100% keto tomorrow. Make your next milk keto. The end. That's all you got to do. Um, 
And I know it sounds simple because I know sometimes when you get off, it's a, it's a struggle. It's a real struggle, but that's all right. Guys and dolls, I want to remind y'all that carbs are not evil. They are not this death machine that we make them out to be. The problem is we overconsume them in mass. We make every meal a huge overcarb meal. Now, if we did it like they did it in the old days where, you know, you had apple pie on Sunday but not every day, or you might even have one dessert in a day, but you're not over-consuming. It's not 24-7. Like my grandpa said, bread is for Sundays. Um, <laughs> our overconsumption is the problem. A healthy relationship with food is being able to eat what you need to get full, your nutrition, and then on occasion having a treat. Now, it doesn't mean I don't regret these cheats because sometimes I do. They come with headaches and a lot of water weight that takes a it only takes about 30 seconds to put that damn water weight on, but it can take you two weeks to a month to get it right back off. So there, there's not always no regrets when I do stupid things, but still I like to enjoy myself once in a blue moon. <laughs> um, and I do appreciate you guys who are hardcore ketoers. I understand 100%. And guys, if you know yourself and you know that you can't make your next meal keto if you cheat or if you don't trust yourself to be able to get right back on track then don't do this don't do this at all um, I'm just gonna have me a day and I'll be right back on it tomorrow and I will tell you tomorrow what I ate today but I will not show you tomorrow what I eat today because I'm not trying to trigger anybody but I do want to stay accountable and let y'all know what I've done so let's talk about yesterday's keto day because it wasn't a bad keto day at all. I probably should not have did the high key cookies late in the evening though. I did feel mildly affected when normally they don't feel like they bother me at all. Probably because I didn't have a super fatty meal beforehand. Um, if you're going to snack on keto, if you're going to have stuff like those high key cookies or um, the cereals, it is better to have those after a fatty meal kind of as a dessert. Um, it's better to not snack throughout. Don't graze. <laughs> but sometimes, pork rinds, they work out just fine for me. I can graze on them kind of all day and lose weight. I haven't done it in a while, but I can. So anyway, everything I ate yesterday. And, uh, hubby, do you want to talk about your weight at all? Because he started keto about a month ago. Yeah, well, I didn't get back up on my weight, though. Right, he didn't, but he I mean, still I had lost. I had lost 10 pounds, but right. that's not really my goal. It's all water weight. I didn't actually lose anything. He looks smaller. Thank you. Tracking it sometimes he looks smaller. Now he's not a large man anyway. He's uh at five ten and weighed what did you weigh? Sixty. Well, what did I weigh when I first got on yeah. last year? No, well last year, yeah, you weighed about one eighty, didn't you? One eighty almost one eighty five I think. Right. One eighty for a five ten man that's not large. And I dropped down to one fifty the first time. It was yeah. Like one fifty six or one fifty seven. He was on keto for about three months and lost uh Almost 40 pounds. And this time when I started, I, I'm not sure what I weighed without my work clothes on it, but with my work clothes, I was 171, right. 172, something around there. That's what I always did. I always do 171, 172. Yeah. And I'm 169 now. 169? Yeah. With dress. Oh, dress only, okay. 160 if, I ain't gonna, if I'm just wearing my pajamas. So he's 100, it, he's about 10 pounds down. <laughs> 10, or, 10 to 12 pounds down. Uh, like I said, weight loss was not his goal this time. It was more of a, a way to do something together, to have something to share and discuss and talk about. But he doesn't have to. It's not a demand. I want y'all to know that. I don't want to force it on anybody, although I would love to see everybody do keto. Um, it's, it's not something I want to force on people. However, he's doing quite well with it. It does seem to help his back some. I do think the motion, getting out moving around, helps his back more than anything. I honestly don't think keto helps my back one way or the other. Okay. Because, I mean, it was only the first time and it didn't help one bit. I think it's completely being out and not laying down all the time. Motion. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, if you think about it, my daddy always had this saying, and then he still says it to this day. I ain't taking no medicine this morning. He didn't take no pain pill this morning. Yeehaw. Uh, but my dad's saying is he can't lay around. If he stops moving, he can't move. So he has to keep moving. And... You know, you see that when you get older, you, you get to sitting around all the time, you get really stiff. It's hard to get up and move around. I know that myself. If I sit in my chair too long, I try to stand up, especially if I'm kicked. My body does not want to get up like it should. It takes a second to get all the way upright. 
All right, let's talk about my weigh-in. So yesterday I weighed in at 178.6. This morning, before, okay, before I went to the bathroom, I don't know how this happened, I weighed in at 178. Then I went to the bathroom. And I went up to, what did I go up to? 179. 179. I gained a pound from peeing and pooping. It's the first time no. that's ever happened to me. Wait, the first time you was 179, and when you went up, came back, you was 178. No, 178. Because I had lost initially, and then I got back on the scale a little bit later. <laughs> but you initially didn't get on the scale when you first got up. That's true. Hubby had a special surprise for me, but I'll tell you all about that tomorrow. Um, I'm in a weird lighting thing. I'm going to run in this post office, check it. If there's anything in here, I'll tell you. If not, I'll be right back to close out the video. All right, so we just checked the post office. There was nothing in there, but I did have to pay my bill for six months, my P.O. Box bill, so that I can have that for another six months. Everything costs money, don't it? Anyway, guys, I want to thank a few people real, real fast. Um, Lisa and Tia, again, for uh, Anthony's walker and his outfits. Those are gorgeous, and he looks so cute, and I love him so much. Of course, that has nothing to do with the things you bought him, but was he not cute? Um, and I appreciate that so much, ladies. It was amazing. A special thank you to Tammy and to um, Linda. All of the, uh, all of you pretty much have uh, hooked us up with the anniversary gift, and I really appreciate it. Um, and again, to uh, you guys are also special. Um, to Terry, uh, I really, really appreciate everything you've done. And Linda, I know that because um, we had our, our conversation through email, that couldn't have been exactly easy for you and I really really appreciate it I think that, that made it very very special and I want you to know that I got an actuator for my blazer to help make sure that uh, my grandson has heat in the morning and everything is safe so I really really appreciate it I think I've said that a dozen times but I really do and I want y'all to all know that I appreciate all your love and support be it in the forms of likes comments views gifts whatever I appreciate every last bit of it so me and hubby are going to head out. We're going to have a decent anniversary. We're going to see an ultrasound of the new grandbaby that ain't got here yet. And, uh... I hope we have a better than a decent. <laughs> better than a decent. Um, anyway, we're going to have a good day. And I hope you all do too. If you need my help, don't forget to send me an email. And don't forget there are ways to support the channel, including Patreon, PayPal, and Amazon below. There is a post office box, obviously. Much love to you guys and dolls. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye, y'all.